your work. Please go inside, sit down. Push to that lady. Please sit down, push to her. Please, I'm coming. Back. Yes, thank you. I'm Mary. Please, can I know your name? Don't bother. But I believe you need this. Thank you. Please, make sure you go through it. I'll read it. It is good for you. See, this life is short. Sin is the cause of all this. But Christ is the holy solution, is the holy cure. Young lady, you need to give your life. Hey, hey, hey! What business of yours is what I have to do with my life? Do you think I have time for your stupid sermon? Rubbish! God, I am delivered from danger. Ah, ah. I would have gone if not for God. That girl has some strange powers. Ah. She has some strange powers. I like for us to. That the enemy, our arch enemy, is a relentless fighter. He is not just a fighter, he is relentless. This is one enemy who is never tired. Of course, you know, in the days of Jesus, as he was starting his ministry, Our Lord and Master was in the wilderness. This enemy went there. The Bible says he tempted Jesus. First count, second count, on and on like that. He got to a point in, in the Bible where the Bible records that Satan left Jesus for an opportune time left Jesus for an opportunity time. That of course shows that the enemy is going to return someday. And he did return many times after. So when you come and challenge the enemy or the enemy comes to challenge you and God gave you victory number one, I want to advise and counsel rightly that that is not enough. Don't go sleep. At this very point, expect a fresh fight another day because it's going to come back again. Being able to use spiritual equipment effectively is one. Being able to live a life of watchfulness is another thing entirely. It is important for us to know that when a Christian is not watchful, he might make his enemies right hand man. You just look at um, situations in the Bible in which Jesus had gone to pray great while before day for him to receive information as to where he ought to minister that day. And Peter came to lure him away from that. Except that he was very, very alert, he would have been pitched against the purpose of God for his life for that moment. It is also very, very important for us to know that severally we have seen people look at these, um, these, um, all these media nights now. I've forgotten, is it uh, Barak who was running away? You know. Cicera, I think it was Cicera, who was running away and he ran into the house of a woman, Jael. 
and he asked for water and Jael said don't worry I will even give you milk not knowing that that woman also was a soldier while he was resting the woman came and pecked him down and he died be watchful it is very very important for us as Christians to know that sometimes you know how to use your spiritual weapons effectively but when the enemy sees that you are not a careful person he comes subtly and before you know it you are already in his net several of us we have accepted pretenders as though we are genuine Christians we have enlisted them in the army we have brought them into the workforce in our churches and because of such careless appointment we are already in trouble today they have already mastered us they have known all our strategies and they have divulged to the enemy so whatever we want to use now is no longer effective because we have put wrong men in the army we must be very very watchful we must be very very sensitive otherwise we might walk into the trap of the enemy without knowing it Now that my dad has refused to pay my school fees, Lord, what should I do? Should I miss this semester to find a job or should I meet the brethren for assistance? Lord, I'm confused. Who would I go for now for the money? I think Sister Anna should be in a position to assist me. What if she turns me down? Well, I don't care. It is better to try and fail than not to make any attempt. Hello? Nikki, how are you doing? I'm fine, I'm fine, thank God. Are you in school already? School care. The problem I told you about is yet unresolved. I was thinking of seeing uh, Sister Hannah so that I can discuss with her to find a way to get the school fees. I know Sister Hannah very well. I don't think she is used to assisting people in need. But why? I don't know. She has always turned down people that go to her for assistance. Well, thanks for the useful information. I will find time to see you later in the day so that we can talk together, find a solution, you know, the problem. All right, thank you. God bless you, eh? Thank you, Shay. Does that mean it is not God's way for me to go to this sister? Lord, you must help me now. You must help me. Just have yourself. Lady Conley, the goddess responded. I'm calling for urgent supply, financial support to advance in the battle of life. Have you sent your request earlier to the Lord of Hosts? Yes, yes, sir. On what ground was your request made? Luke chapter 11, verse 9 and 10, sir. Just a minute. Let me find out the status of your request. Okay, sir. From the information I have here, your request has been granted. Wow, that's good news, sir. Your supply has been handed over to another soldier called Hannah in Area 5 Command. Go to her. Thank you very much for the information, sir. Over. What? Could it mean that the Lord is asking me to go and see Sister Hannah? Lord, I'm confused. Well, I'll go and see her. I don't mind what the response will be. I don't mind what the outcome will be. I'll go and see her. 